So here we know that what uh, for part A we know that what contributes to the uh, we can say the g times m times m divided by r squared force on m. Whatever contributes, we know that whatever contributes to this is going to be the spherically distributed mass m contained within the radius. So r is measured at the center of mass m, and we can then say um, at point A, m sub 1 plus m sub 2 is at a is at a smaller radius than r equals a and then this is simply this is going to then contribute to the force so the magnitude of the force on mass m lowercase m is going to be equal to the gravitational constant times that uh, sum of the of the uh, m sub 1 plus m sub 2 times the smaller mass m divided by a squared. So here, for part b, rather, this would be our answer for part a. But for part b, uh, in the case where r is equaling b, we can then say m sub 1 is the only mass contained within that radius. So if this is the case, uh, the force on m becomes g times m sub 1 times m divided by b squared. And for part c then, uh, if the particle is at c, uh, if the particle is at c, uh, we can then say that no other mass is at smaller radius. And given this, we can then say that the force on M is equaling zero newtons. This would be our answer for part C. This would be our answer for part B if the radius is equaling B. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.